Okay, now we're laying a brick veneer wall. And structurally, a veneer wall cannot support itself, and so we need to tie it to the main bearing wall that's behind it, which right now is a stud wall, a wood frame wall. And so we will anchor that brick to the to this frame wall with masonry ties. Now these are 22 gauge uh, galvanized corrugated brick ties. We nail those to the wall using an eight penny nail and we'll nail that in to every stud. And normally those studs are every 16 inches on center. So we will anchor those brick ties into that stud. They have pre-drilled holes and then we'll bend it over to stiffen the tie up. Again, we'll go 16 inches on center and put the next one. Okay, we'll bend that over, stiffen that up again. Now that provides a tie system every 16 inches horizontally and vertically we put the tie system in. Anchors our wall, brick wall, to the frame wall. Then we'll take, and this depends on the area that you're in, if you're in a high seismic area where there's a great threat of earthquakes, then it requires a piece of number nine wire to be put in the wall as well. And that is put along the wall and then the tie is set over the top of it. Provides more anchorage for that brick to be held to the wall. Once we've done that, now we're ready to lay our next course. We've spread our mortar on and that anchors right into the brick and causes a, a very solid structure. Again, brick veneer cannot be laid up without being tied every 16 inches to the frame wall behind it. Now there's some other ties that we'll show you in just a minute that show how we anchor brick to block and so we'll show you that in just one moment. Okay now we, we may be building a wall that doesn't have a frame wall behind it. When we do that we need to have some way of anchoring the two walls together such as this wall where we're building a little enclosure it's a double brick wall, but we need to tie the two walls together for structural strength and stability. And so what we use is called Durawall. Now this is a number nine wire, two strands, and then it has some divider strands that tie that wall together. So as we build that up, we'll put that Durawall in every 16 inches to tie those two walls together. And that's what we use when we have two double brick walls or a block wall and a brick wall. That's how we anchor those two walls together. Okay, now I'd like to show you how to clean a masonry wall. You'll notice this wall has a lot of splattering, a lot of dried mortar on it. So we'll first take our trowel and hit some of these spots, clean them off with our trowel. And once we've, we've got the big clumps of mortar off, now we'll take a cleaning, a cleaning solution and clean the wall off. Now that has been in the past just a muriatic acid mixture. Muriatic acid can be very harmful to you so they have produced some cleaning solutions to clean brick that are much more safe. Now we'll take a little of this cleaning solution, dump it in some water and it's normally mixed 10 parts to one part, 10 parts of water to one part cleaning solution. As you buy this you'll get it from a brick supply company uh, it tells you directions on it how to how to mix it. Mix that with the water and then you need to buy a brush and it's a pretty stiff type brush with a handle on it. Okay now we dip that in the cleaning solution and then put that on the wall. We want to make sure that we cover the entire wall 
Make sure that it gets in to the joints. Covers the entire area. And if there are spots that you can see that are not coming clean, like a spot right there, turn that brush around and rub it with the back of the brush and you can clean that off. Go back to your brush, pick up more cleaning solution, and make sure that it covers the brick completely. Now you notice right there, there's a spot. If I turn that over, I can clean that off quite easily. It doesn't take a, a great deal of pressure. You let the cleaning solution do most of the work. And again, where you have a spot that isn't coming clean, use the back of your brush and clean that off. Now we're going to take our hose and rinse that wall off and get all that cleaning solution off. Now it doesn't have to be a great deal of pressure, but just so we rinse that wall off completely, starting at the top and rinse that down. Now you can see that that has really made a difference in the appearance of that wall. That's how we clean an entire wall. Okay, you probably noticed as you've been working on your workstation that you get your brick wall up very high and it becomes very unstable. Uh, after two or three feet, that wall wants to tip over and you could push that over very easily. That's the same thing with laying a brick wall up even if you've got uh, cement in the mortar. Standing by itself, a veneer brick uh, is very unstable and it needs to be tied to the, uh, the, the wall behind it, whether that's a block wall or a wood frame wall. And again, there's a lot of different types of tie systems. The most inexpensive is the little galvanized 22 gauge ties. With an eight penny nail that's anchored into the the studs, it anchors the wall very well, and then you have a very sturdy wall. That needs to be anchored again every 16 inches, or in some cases, every two feet. And uh, that provides a very stable wall. Now again, if you're laying your wall with brick and block, or a double brick wall, there's different products from DuraWall that uh, provide a very good tie system. And then again, we showed you how to anchor things together with rebar and grout. Our next tape, we talk about anchoring and reinforcing block walls. And in that, we'll, show, we'll touch a little more on rebar and grout and how we really stabilize a structural wall. But remember again, this is just a veneer wall. It has to be anchored and attached with some type of a tie system. And again, these metal ties are the least expensive and they do a very good job. And also with washing brick. Now remember, you're dealing with acids, you're dealing with chemicals. Be careful with it. Uh, read the directions on the container and do what that tells you to do. Always wear uh, safety glasses or gloves or uh, different type of safety devices because that can get into your skin or your eyes and it can cause a lot of damage. Again, you can see the difference between a washed wall and this wall that hasn't been washed. Again, sometimes just a piece of brick will scrape off the excess and you've got to get that scraped off before you put the cleaning solution on. But once you go over the wall and get the, the large pieces off, then the cleaning solution can be applied and it really makes a nice looking wall and I think you can really see the difference between the wall that's been washed and that that hasn't.